All right, in this lesson, we will uh, explore another option for creating image planes in 3ds Max. So I have my four window configuration to three orthographic in perspective, and I'm selected on top view. But if I go right up here in views, uh, viewport background, you can see the option viewport background here. Let's bring up a window here, and I want you to. Um, there are a lot of different options here, but what we're going to do is use Match Bitmap and Lock, Zoom, and Pan. So with those selected, we're going to go right up here to Files and import the um, files that we've created for our um, uh, model that we're going to be using. So navigate to that. All right, so in the top view, I want the top image, and it uh, just say OK, and it brings that image right into uh, the top view there. Now, if you go right up here to um, top view, you can uh, turn that on and off with an option here. Background, here we go. And we can turn this off, show background, and that'll turn off the, the image plane. All right, we go ahead and do that with each one of the orthographic views. And um, we can begin modeling. I am going to pause, and I'll be back when I have completed all of these. OK, so here you can see that we have uh, many options for views. We have uh, top, bottom, front, back, left, right, and uh, perspective in 3ds Max and the image planes are locked to the particular um, orthographic view that you have set up. All right, the other option to uh, working planes, image planes, is uh, my favorite. Simply create an image plane in the um, surface that is square. I snap it to the trick, create top-down version, and I just uh, use one segment and apply the uh, image plane you find your diffuse map bed map okay and you go ahead and load those images in um, as you would the image planes All right, so top would be this view, and right and view that smooth. Uh, look at it in the window. And once you have this uh, image plane, you can manage it just like you would any other geometry. Uh, you can turn snap off, <laughs> and you can lower that out of your your immediate workspace grid off and you can also um, lock it so that you can't select it by clicking on object properties show frozen in gray unselect that so it's not gray when you freeze it and then just simply freeze selection so you can't select on it it's in the location that you need it and uh, you can you can more easily manage that the way that I like to work is by flipping through to different orthographic views by clicking the uh, associated um, key on the keyboard it keeps the window large I can uh, actually navigate through very quickly and um, not um, have to deal with the image planes and how they react to certain keystrokes all right so once we have all of our image planes set up with uh, with geometry as polygons, we can um, and you can see I have the four uh, diffuse maps in here that are applied. Now um, there's one other step that you'll need to take in order to see through those. So if you right click object properties, you could click on back face cull, and what that does is make the back faces invisible. It's not a two sided option in Max. It's just simply uh, Calling the back face, so you can see they're invisible. And once you have that done, and 
the um, uh, frozen show frozen in gray uh, unchecked then you can go ahead and freeze those and you won't be able to select those but they will be in the um, orthographic views they will not change size or shape so that's bottom up if you have a bottom of a car perhaps that you want to model that would be um, available to you in Max. Alright, so now that we're all set up, let's go on to modeling.